I don't think the amount of money matters. I think that just do something that you like. If that man likes you, you like to go take me salsa dancing. It's free on Wednesday nights before 10 o'clock. And then it's $10 to get in. And I would love that. Buy me a bottle of water because it does get hot and I do sweat. You know, it or, does get hot. Eh? Let's go for a walk in the park. <laughs> That's or let's sit in the car and eat ice cream and talk about aliens you know like whatever it may be but that's because are, are you out here just trying to go on nice dates or are you out here trying to get to know a person get. for partnership in life i i wish i could just micro the gospel <laughs> i'm serious the gospel. I'm, I'm at the, hey guys welcome to my channel flavor the flavor today is are women ruining good men? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for any future videos. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at are women ruining good men? What do you feel is a decent amount to spend on the first date? Oh. Oh. I don't think it matters. Oh, oh, what? 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 You don't think it matters? No. The internet is going to come for you heavily for this. I think. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. She said, oh, I don't think it matters. I was like, are you, are you the ideal woman right now? And this is the host. I think the internet's going to come. Why? Why is the internet going to come for her? Because she's saying it like maybe us men feel like it should be said. Let's let's take a look. Internet coming for her. Internet should be coming for you, host. Let's just skip that. These girls that feel like the date that they take you on defines the man that they chose. They're full of crap. It's absolute BS. I think that it's a woman that's looking for the bigger, better deal that has the audacity to say, I can't believe you want to bring me to the Cheesecake Factory. A lot of these dater, dating scammers that literally go on a date every night just to be able to eat something, you're lucky you're eating tonight because you probably can't afford to eat <laughs> yourself. These men don't give money. They give bags these days and you can't and eat you that. Can't, should they can't. Should be hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll bring it back. You said they, they, they don't give money. They give bags these days and you can't eat that. They can't. <laughs> Yeah, they'll go to the pod shop, sell it, and, and then eat from that. So they can eat the bag. Don't don't, don't sell them short. <laughs> they can eat it. Give them a knife and fork and sell it to the pod shop. Watch them eat that bag in a second. <laughs> they, they, they can eat that bag. But it's funny because she talks about their scammers, right? Always accepting. That, that gets the implication, giving that they're always accepting dates with different guys for free meals. They're scammers, and so when they don't get that type of free meal that they're type of free meal that they're looking for, now you hear it online. That's what she's that's what she's implying that they're scammers. And be grateful that a man put in enough Goodbye. effort to take you somewhere, and that's the problem. I personally feel like that's the problem with today's day and age. Like a lot of men are becoming lazy in dating. They're becoming lazy in the pursuit because there's no appreciation for what they do. And now women have these super high entitlement level thoughts that they deserve to be brought to freaking Bora Bora on their first date. And it's like, who are you to even Bora, ask for that? Bora. What value have you brought to that man? Thank it's you. Audac it's the audacity for me. It's the me. audacity for me. And then you. on top of that, you, you should want to be friends with the person that you're choosing anyway. If I don't like you, I'm not going on a trip with you. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, on a date. Instagram photos on... <laughs> no. Homegirl, be careful <laughs> that that man Good put talk. in some effort. And you know what? The more appreciation that you choose, the better treatment you'll get. Bar. That's what I think. Bar. <laughs> Hold on. Bring it back. Bring it back. You talk about bar. You you were saying that the internet was going to come for her. Now now now, as the host, you want to say bar? Stop talking about bar. You're the one who told her that the internet's going to come for her. Now you're on her side. We don't watch you on her side anymore. Well, we didn't watch you in the first place. Anyway, <laughs> she's this this girl's talking the gospel. You should want to be friends first. If we're not friends, how? Why am I going on a trip with you? Why am I going on a date with you if we're not friends? Thank you. Thank you. 
And guys, this is a learning lesson to you. Stop asking girls out on dates because of what they look like. Because you saw them in the mall and they had a paducah duck when you don't know them. And then when that first date comes and they're trying to disrespect you on social media for taking them to a lower place that they thought they should be going, serves you right. Why? Guys, I'm going to spit it too. Because you should have got to know them first rather than wanting to take them out because of what they look like. Because if you got to know them, you wouldn't want to take them out. Let's move on. I don't think the amount of money matters. I think that just do something that you like. If that man likes you, you like to go. Take me salsa dancing. It's free on Wednesday nights before 10 o'clock. And then it's $10 to get in. And I would love that. Buy me a bottle of water because it does get hot and I do sweat. You know? It or, does get hot, eh? Let's go for a walk in the park. <laughs> That's or let's sit in a car and eat ice cream and talk about aliens. You know, like whatever it may be. But that's because are, are you out here just trying to go on nice dates? Or are you out here trying to get to know a person get. for partnership in life? I I wish I could just microphone. The gospel! <laughs> I'm serious. The I'm just over here. I'm like, just I know, frustrated. I know you saw how I was looking at you. I was just like, she's this going on. I'm frustrated because women are ruining good men by acting like they deserve more than they do. Damn. A Thank lot of you. these women out here really don't have nothing coming. Damn. How do you? Feel? Okay. I didn't say that. She well, said Jesus that. Christ. At least that was a straight answer. Right. We didn't dance around that. Dur one. Huh. This is the problem with the host, though. When you talk about it, mic drop and bars, but you but you first initially said that the internet's gonna come after her. But now you're siding with her about mic drop and bars. You should have listened to what she had to say. <laughs> now is the internet gonna come after her? Cause she's speaking the gospel. And I, and I bring, bring up the gospel. <laughs> she's speaking the gospel. You know what I mean? She she talking about we got we we can go in the club free before ten o'clock, salsa dancing. If you can buy me a water, cause I get hot. <laughs> I get hot too. I gotta get water. I get water for both of them. I get water for you, water for me. We don't have to share. <laughs> so, cause it gets hot. Cause it gets hot. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Please. Mic drop. Don't talk about mic drop when you were telling her that the internet's gonna come for a host. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope women aren't ruining good men, but. Women are ruining good men. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. Until next time. Salsa dancing. Free before 10. Peace.